Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back. I know we've got Halloween coming in a couple of days, but decided to go back to the fall decor a little early. And as we get into the week, that'll make sense. And uh, for those of you who are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, career, love, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. One week could be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. The next week might be a love reading or a law of attraction tarot card reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, please. All right, we're going to start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, Beauty, Harmony, Reciprocity. The Beginner's Mind with the Fool, the Empress, the Path to the Heart. We've got the Eight of Wands. This is getting kind of fun. The Four of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. But these two are related. There's a nice interplay of energy there. And the Page of Swords. Well, for some of you, you've got a love interest here coming in hot. And it might be, it's either somebody that you have a lot in common with, or it could be a second chance. Okay, those of you that are asking for it. But I also feel like, too, with career and money, I feel like there's going to be a bit of an overhaul for somebody here. There could be a big career change. Um, but I, I, there's a transition coming in with that energy of the fool. So we've got plenty of earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got air and fire and water, too, though. So the Six of Pentacles, I, I feel like it's a this reciprocity seems to be the continuous thread. So for somebody here, in terms of a change with work, I definitely feel like you're going to be getting compensated, but I do feel like somebody's going to pick up a new side hustle and it's going to be easy. It's like one of those things where it's either through an app or it's something where you control what you do with it. And so when you want to do it, you can. And I do feel like you're going to get that comp the money back is going to feel like a pretty nice return. Um, and it, you know, as you get into the end of the year, I feel like you're going to be happy with the outcome, whoever that is. There's something about planning ahead with money that's coming in with that Four of Pentacles energy, but there's smart planning here. It's not lack. It's more like planning and making abundance come in. So um, with the Six of Cups here, you do have the Libra scales here too, by the way. With the Six of Cups though, this is a, a return to love. It's a return to trust. And I feel like overall, it's just a really nice energy as you go into the end of the year. There's there's that feeling of just being in flow with this, feeling like it's one of the fairy tale cards in the deck, but it's really feeling like, you know what, I know why I'm here. I get it. I have a higher purpose. This feels good. I'm just going to keep doing it. And so I mentioned before, for some of you, there's a sense of nostalgia here. I do see somebody... Well, I got two things. One, somebody was having fantastic dreams about money. That really has almost nothing to do with this, but I got it in the beginning of the reading and I should have told you then. Um, but I also, and I feel like that portent's a change. Like it's got a, there's a, your subconscious is communicating with you, whoever that is. But with this one, um, this is going to be one of those energies where for some it is that sense of nostalgia, looking through old pictures, getting, you know, getting back into that feeling of a relationship with somebody, but it's not so much, it's not sorrow at all. Okay. It's, we don't want to go negative. It's not about missing someone as much as it is about just feeling the energy of love, because that's really when you've connected to that energy of love, that's what brings it in. I mean, you definitely have a nice, uh, in terms of a love reading, you've got something nice going on right here, especially all that yellow 
in the deck. And I do get somebody making, it seems like some kind of a pineapple chutney or salsa. I, dear, dear Lord, the visions today are really interesting, but I definitely see there's something about yellow. This connection with yellow feels important. Um, and it's in the tarot, it's a very positive sign. You have it here too, okay? These yellow backgrounds indicate an environment of growth, of prosperity, of, um, pardon me, abundance. And so with this, I definitely see things as taking flight. But but this is also that, like I said, it's a, it's an energy of returning to trust. So I feel like no matter what you're doing, Aquarius, you're going to be able to trust the situation and trust the people around you because you have helpful people coming in. So those of you that are picking up a side hustle, I do feel like it's either somebody who tips you off and says, oh God, you should do this. It's easy. It's You make money. You get to have full autonomy and control over it. But they also give you good advice too. Somebody here, I get like, it's like this guy helping this one. Okay, you're this one and they're this one. Um, so anyway, you have, again, with the full, a new beginning coming in. And for some, it is going to be a shift in terms of career. And you might find, too, that a side hustle takes off and becomes the main gig. But with the full, it's trust, enthusiasm, new beginnings. It's the hero, all right? The hero's journey. And I mentioned the beginner's mind. It's important in love or money because with this, it's like that return to who you really are, the return before we're traumatized, and really more a connection on the soul level. So the mind is not driving the bus as much as it likes to. Because when we get let the mind take the wheel, that's when we get full of doubt and criticism and worry and estrangement. I feel like with this, you're an open book, and you're going to find too, you're very approachable with this. So you, if you're single, you may have more than one person. And I do get somebody messaging you with that page of swords, like some internet contacts too through messenger or other apps trying to just get a hold of you and so if you get these and you go god is that what they mean uh-huh that's what they mean okay they're looking for more they're kind of maybe feeling out the water a little bit um but with this full energy again you've released all judgment and when you've released the resistance you're standing in the sunlight of the spirit you're in the field of pure potential and that is going to be attractive as hell to people. Now, again, I, I feel like you have new doors that open here. So part of this is going to be allowing yourself to walk through that door into something new. But it feels exciting. It's an adventure. Anything new that you start here feels like adventure and freedom. And it feels like it gets quite a bit of momentum. So it grows into more. And so with the full energy, I'd say you're going to be thriving and change with this one. The Empress comes in. And with the Empress, again, you've got all this energy of abundance, prosperity, getting together with people, socializing, maybe having a few drinks or an indulgent, decadent meal here or there. But watch out for that because with this one, you can tend to overdo it a bit. She don't, you don't have other cards like you don't have the devil or temperance or something that says, oh God, this is going completely overboard. But I just throw that in. Now, the Empress, of course, she lives in luxury. We know that. So that energy of success, is this is all about that. She is the mother of the tarot, though. And I do feel like, too, in a relationship, you have somebody coming in who's quite a caretaker in an emotional sense and maybe even, too, as a part of their career. There's something really kind and loving about this. Maybe they're a coach or something like that. But I do feel like, or a mentor to different people, there's something about their energy where people like to talk with them. They like to just kind of get their perspective on things because they're kind and they're compassionate and they don't have any secondary motive. There's no there's no hidden motive or agenda, whoever it is that you're attracting. She is the mother of the tarot, so it's not just the caretaker. It's also fertility for some of you, um, but it's fertility and love. And so with the Eight of Wands here, things are going to move fast. This is definitely break, brace for change. Take that leap of faith. Move yourself forward because this is all about the win. And it is um, in love. It's real love coming in and communication big time. So I do feel like people who, who are attracted to you are going to be up front. So even if they're messaging you, I don't feel like it's going to be a string you along kind of thing until you finally get wise and figure out, oh, God, that's what they meant. I feel like it'll happen fairly early on in the communication. They're not—they're going to be pretty bold, um, but I still feel like you have a front runner who comes in here, and this is that swept away type of energy. Well, the Four of Pentacles says, "Let's get some stuff in order. Let's plan ahead. Uh, let's make sure that we're starting to." For those of you that celebrate a holiday season, 
get ready for the holiday. And I, I mentioned earlier, I feel like you're going to like the outcome based on this influence. It really is about order and financial order. It's not so much about restriction as much as it is making prudent, careful decisions. So some of you might say, you know, I'm not going to do certain things that just seem to waste money with this. It's going to be really more thoughtful endeavors, more thoughtful spending. And for some too, it may be about cleaning some things out and even selling them on consignment or something like that. Things that you don't need, but I still feel like you're going to take that money and kind of hole it away for later. I just don't see you being in a vibe of, you know, getting and spending and getting and spending. And if you have been in that, you're going to change. This is going to be a change coming in. So the King of Pentacles is turning straw to gold. He's got the Midas touch. So again, any changes that you make with career and money are going to bring in more. This is all about, it's not ex excess, but it's definitely prosperity. So with this King of Pentacles too, though, it is a partner. So I feel like too, somebody that you're attracting, it may get more serious if you're already living together. Part of that, it's not just the stability of this, but it's also going to allow you to feel, you know, you're splitting half of the bills. It's going to allow you to have that sense of security financially too. And so this Page of Swords comes in. It's developing energy. It's a messenger though in communication. So I mentioned to you earlier, for some of you, it is going to be that internet spy or somebody who contacts you via an app or another electronic form. And you might vet some people this way and that's okay too, where you're kind of weeding them out through that. So let's see here, Aquarius, what the angels have to say for you. Messages for Aquarius, please. What else does Aquarius need to know? Advice for Aquarius. All right, so we have here improving health, but that's that mind, body, spirit. Again, you've got helpful people around you too. We've got a golden opportunity showing up. So I t with the full energy, there's a tipping point. A new door will open with that. No need to worry. I would agree you have a glorious reading. And you've got perfect timing here. And you've got a yes, all right? Good things are on the way for you, Aquarius. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.